morning, everybody. I want to thank everybody for joining us today, including those who have a particularly special interest in this legislation. Uh, let me just start by saying that uh, this particular bill had six votes in our house. Uh, it had the votes of my wife, my three kids, myself, and, and our dog, Lucy, who reminds me every single day why uh, this is the sort of thing that would be so important to people here in the Commonwealth. Now, there are over 20 states that already have statutory protections for first responders uh, who take what I would describe as appropriate action to deal with um, an animal in distress in a vehicle. Um, there are several other states that also have uh, statutory protections in place for, for people who do similar things. And this law is a great example of um, Massachusetts stepping up on behalf of um, animals and, uh, and dogs and pet owners especially, but also Good Samaritans who may see an opportunity um, to do something on behalf of an animal uh, in a difficult situation. I truly believe today, even this ceremony, will educate people to know what they can do. Uh, and that is when they see an animal in distress, smash the window. The animal comes first, the irresponsible um, animal owner not so much. Um, there are protections built in. These are not, uh, we're not we weren't uh, frivolous in the consideration. We worked hard to find the right balance. But we're basically saying, uh, as the governor has said very well in the last few days, um, we should be treating these beautiful creatures the way we treat human beings. I think it speaks to our character as a legislature, as a, as a governor, as a state, when we stand up and create laws that help people who not only don't have voices, they bark, but they can't speak, um, but they, they, don't, they, they can't lobby their representatives, and they can't vote. So I think it um, speaks well for us as a state 